Hi everyone. I want to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I want to welcome you to day 6 of our prayer and fasting. Today's devotional is titled Benevolence, written by Rev. Arnold Hargreaves, who serves as the senior pastor of the Piaco Church of the Nazareth. Our scripture reading is taken from Psalms chapter 126 verse 1 to 3. And it says, when the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongues with joyful shouting. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are joyful. Misfortune, disappointment and pain are part of the human experience. As a result of these hardships, many today conclude that there is no God. Often, many may say that if there was a God, he must be against them because of the many days of seemingly ceaseless difficulties and sorrows. The Israelites were no different. They were dragged off to Babylon and their capital city was laid in ruins. Yet the psalmists worshipped God with laughter joy and singing with a range of musical instruments a perspective that seems to be at odds with the turbulent history of the jewish people we who are members of the body of christ are also no strangers to misfortune and trying circumstances ourselves such expression of the psalmist and no mere performance the people of God worship him in spite of the grave circumstances they experience because they knew of the sure certainty of their deliverance that will come forth in their various circumstances. They knew of the goodness and favor of God in their lives throughout their history. And we can conclude today's devotion by knowing that although every year brings with it different seasons, Sometimes seemingly good or bad, there is no variableness or shadow of turning with our benevolent God. What seems to be the enemy's victory in our lives turns out in hindsight to be the master plan of God to give his people a future. To give us overcoming and purposeful living in this life. And life eternal with him to come. Just as the Lord Jesus Christ swallowed up death in victory. The goodness of God will one day engulf all our moanings and tears. And those of us who believe, who sow in tears, will reap in joy. Let's pray. Father God, we give you praise. And we give you thanks and glory for you are God all by yourself, deserving of all glory. Thank you for your goodness and your love which are ever before us. In Jesus' name, amen. I trust that as you go throughout this day, that you will re remember the benevolence of our God. We serve an all good God. His love is there. May the grace of our God bless you and be with you. Amen.